Hi, and welcome to our next video dealing with algebra and finding the ages of certain individuals. Here, this problem is a little bit more complicated, but I hope you realize that the algebra, as tough as it seems, it helps us solve a problem that I think would otherwise seem almost impossible. So here is the problem. A rune is four times as old as Anusha, and 60 years ago, a rune was six times as old as Anusha. How old are they today? Well, here, you know, again, our goal is to use one variable. So if we say that x is Anusha's age, and that's whatever age she is today, that's her current age, right, Anu Anusha's current age, how can we define a rune's age on a, based on Anusha's age? Well, whatever Anusha is, a rune is four times that. So a rune's age will equal four x, and that's a rune's current age. So, that being said, what's next? Well, we know that 60 years ago, a rune was six times as old as Anusha. So what does that mean? Well, it means that Anusha's age, if we subtract 60 from it, that will take us back 60 years. And of course, a rune's age, 4x, if we subtract 60 from that, that will bring us back 60 years. Now, there, there is an equivalence relation here. Let's move them next to each other. We know that that 60 years ago, if you took um, Anusha's age and multiplied it by 6, that would be the same thing as a rune's age because it says a rune was 6 times as old as Anusha, right? So, if, for example, if a rune's age is, is 12, right, and that's a rune, well, if Anusha is 2, right, to balance these out because we're setting up an equivalence, you have to take Anusha's age and multiply it by 6, right? Because 2 times 6 is 12. So that would mean that, that Arun is 6 times older than Anusha. But in an equation, that means you need to take Anusha's age, multiply it by 6, and it will give you Arun's age. And that's what we're doing here. We're multiplying Anusha's age by 6, and that will equal Arun's age. And we solve for x. So first I'm going to distribute this 6. 6 times x is 6x minus 6 times 60, which is 360, and that equals 4x minus 60. Keep going, subtract 4x from both sides, and you know what, I'll add 360 to both sides. I'll do this at the same time. What happens now? Well, on this side, this cancels out. It's minus 360 and plus 360, and 6x minus 4x is just 2x. On this side, these x's cancel out, and here, what's negative 60 plus 360? Well, that's just 300. And what does that mean? Well, now 2 times something is 300. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals 150. Because here, 2 times 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 300 divided by 2 is 150. So we solve for x. And that's, that's Anusha's age, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Arun's age is 4 times that. So this is, this is Anusha's age. So that means, well, Arun's age will be 4 times 150. And that's 600. So that's Arun's age. And you should test this stuff out. I mean, does this, does this actually work? Well, if we plug this in, let's, let's clear this off over here. This says that 60 years ago, um, Arun's age was was six times as old as Anusha. Well, 60 years ago, well, if Arun is 600 today, 60 years ago, minus 60, he was 540 years old. That was Arun. If Anusha is 150, take 60 years away from that, you get 90. Is 90 times 6 540? Well, yes, right? 90 times 6 is 540. So this works. 60 years ago, Arun was six times older than Anusha. Of course, I guess they're impossibly old here, or at least by standards today, right? They're 600 and 150, but we can still solve for this problem and still determine what their ages were based on the information we're given. And this, this is tough, right? But I can't imagine how long it would take to solve this problem um, just by plugging in and, and sampling ages, right? Finding these ages would be quite difficult that way. Uh, we could do it, but here I feel like the algebra has a nice, clean approach. So I hope that helped.